Happy birthday. Born on the 30th of November. The 30th of November is a very powerful and strong horoscope to have. It makes you very ambitious. It makes you very charitable but strict sometimes. It makes you want to dominate and control people and circumstances. But the best thing is that you will always think on a high and big level. So your ambitions will be very strong for greatness. And your determin le determination levels will also be very strong. On the downside, you will be, uh, 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 you will be argumentative and you will want to debate things forever. You will be very quarrelsome. You will tend to be impatient and hasty and impulsive. So try not to do some of these things too much. I want to talk to you about 2016 and 2017. Now, from the 1st of January 2016 until your birthday, the 30th of November, you should have done very well because the calendar year planets are favoring you. Some of the planets there will help you in, and support you in areas of career or business or even in areas of romance or marriage and they will give you a lot of determination as well. From your birthday, the 30th of November until the 31st of December 2016, you, would also, you are going to also do very well because the same group of planets will also help you. It's a question of age. What age would you be from 1st January 2016 until your birthday, the 30th of November 2016? That will determine success or determine failure. And for the remainder of 2016, it's also important to know what age you will be to have success or the dreaded failure. I'm going to give you a, a group of ages. Let's imagine that you are the ages of 21 or 30 or 39 or 48 or 57 or 66 or 75. If you have been these ages, which I've just mentioned from January the 1st until the 30th of November, I would imagine that you have been very successful. And in romance or marriage, you would have been very happy and content. In areas of career, you would have been promoted or you would have a bigger area of responsibility. You would have done well in any way. In business, you could be attracting big contracts and you will be able to even make very good business contracts as well, business contacts as well. So a powerful age, which I've just mentioned, a set of ages, which I've just mentioned, would make you, allow you to do very well. This set of ages, if it takes you into 2017, you are also going to do well and prosper and be very happy. And the magnetism of many good planets will be also on your side. So being of these good ages, which I've just mentioned, 2017, you're going to do very, very well in areas of career, business, in areas of romance, marriage, family, very lucky. But now let me give you a set of ages. Let's pretend that you are going to be a set of any of these ages. Now, if you are the ages of 22 or 31 or 40, or 49, or 58, or 67, or 76. Then, from the 1st of January 2016 until your birthday, the 30th of November 2016, you would have attracted many, many ups and downs. And your impulsiveness, impatience, and hastiness would have added to many difficulties. So in your romance area, the problem of breakup and the problem of Keeping it happy would be very difficult. And the same with your marriage area. There would be many differences. Anything will come to bring sudden and unexpected problems to your marriage if you are these negative ages, which I've just mentioned. And in 2017, if you are these ages, which I've just mentioned, the situation is going to become even worse. You are going to have areas in all four areas, your romance, your marriage, your career, your business, to have a lot of problems and ups and downs will be plenty. But let me now uh, give you s some good ages 
and, and to see how you will cope. You see, and uh, these good ages, as I mentioned earlier, would be 21, 30, and 39, and 48, and 57, and 66, and, seven, and uh, 75. So, depends on what sets of ages you are going to be. If you are not of any of these ages which I mentioned, then you will have your own ups and downs. You will have sometimes the good periods as, you, as your horoscope moves to different zodiac signs. Sometimes you will have dreaded periods as well. So it's very important for me to know your year of birth when I'm predicting anything for you. But this is a general reading. Okay? I want to talk to you about your health. And uh, I'm, although all I know is that you're born on the 30th of November, I'm going to tell you a few things. Firstly, obesity. You will tend to put on weight very easily because you will love your food and you will love your drink. Well, you must learn how to also work out. Otherwise, your cholesterol levels are going to be very high. And these cholesterol high levels can produce chronic illnesses like diabetes and many other problems as well. So never let allow yourself to be too overweight. Otherwise, later on in your ages, you're going to regret it very much. And your blood circulation will also be a big problem that way. Also, I worry about your spine. And your spine is going to trouble you. I, will, I can venture that it will be your lower spine that will be worse than your neck area or your middle spine area. But then all I know is that you're born on the 30th of November. I don't know your year of birth. I don't know your time of birth. I have not looked at your palms. Your palms are your DNA. Nobody else can have your palms because your fingerprints and your thumbprints nobody else can have. So all this added information, I will be able to tell you A to Z, everything that could be wrong with you. Okay. In the meantime, these few things which I can pull out, which I've already mentioned. In terms of compatibility, you can be quite a good compatible partner as long as people obey you. If they don't obey you, you will tend to be very frustrated and get angry with them and will not cooperate with them. But try not to, uh, uh, to expect obedience all the time. Be flexible, be negotiable and your compatibility will improve. Okay? The other thing about you is that you can be very argumentative and people who argue a lot, we don't want to be in their company too much and your compatibility then can weaken. Okay? In terms of colors, the colors are a very powerful thing. Every planet is given certain colors to, you, to use. So, with your birthday, 30th of November, you are going to have negative planets as well. And we don't want you to wear colors of these negative planets. I would say that for your remainder of 2016 and for the whole of 2017, I would like you to wear a lot of purple, all shades of purple, sometimes dark purple, sometimes light purple. And also to use a purple like in the form of pillowcase or, or bed sheets or the chair that you sit on in the office or your tabletop or the carpets and the curtains in the walls at home or the sofa you sit on when you're watching TV or the chair you're sitting on when you're having dinner or lunch. So I would like you to contact as much purple as possible. There is a negative color which I hope you do not contact until end of this November or for the whole of 2017. And this color would be light blue. I don't want you to wear too much light blue or come in contact with too much light blue. Try your best whether in the office, whether at home, where you can have some control. Do not want to contact light blue. If you do contact too much of light blue, ups and downs and sudden unexpected difficulties will be seen a lot for you until end of 2016 or the whole of 2017. It would be good one day for me to hear from you. So by all means, go to Facebook and look me up and ask me to add you on and I will add you on. And you can ask me all the questions you want and uh, you may want to consult me if you um, that's very possible, then you let me know. And uh, I will be going on to Skype very soon. And so through Skype, I will be able to speak to you 
anywhere, wherever you are in the world. Until then, a happy birthday to you and I wish you the best of luck. You with a very powerful horoscope born in the 30th, who is here on earth to do big things and to do them very successfully. Thank you and goodbye.